welcome back to the freaking channel walking on water it is an absolutely gorgeous day it's like 70 freaking five degrees out right now i am sitting in the middle of the lake hayden lake to be exact right outside of Coeur d'Alene, idaho absolutely gorgeous location up here in the northwest in the panhandle um i just got done posting a video on kokanee corn um i had a lot of questions about how i rig up the corn um on an actual bait or on my tackle and so we are gonna get into that make sure you share subscribe smash the like button leave a comment show that support let's get right into it all right guys so i have the non-slip mooching rig okay pre-tied up so i could bring it out here on the lake so we could set this rig up for you guys okay if you'd like to learn how to tie up this non-slip mooching rig go over to my channel walking on water the title reads how to tie up a non-slip mooching rig, just like that, okay? So, for this kokanee mooching rig, obviously we're gonna downsize the hooks a little bit, downsize the leader, okay? So, and also with this non-slip mooching rig, I place the, the very base of this hook where it starts to round right at the top of the eyelid of the second hook because these are kokanee, okay? And they have a small, softer mouth, so you don't want them too widespread. You're not running on a herring. You're just running corn on these, okay? Now, we're gonna start out, the leader length should only ever be, you can go down to about eight inches and up to about a foot, okay? We're gonna set this thing up all the way for you guys. Okay, let me just pop this off, just like so. Get this over here, just like so. Okay. Okay, guys, first things first, okay? I've got the non-slip mooching rig, okay? I've got two beads. Obviously, I like to match my beads to my spin glow. I love kokanee fishing with spin glows, you guys. There's a million different lures out there, but spin glows are versatile. You can run them at a lower speed, and the kokanee absolutely love them, and the kokanee cannot even come close to resisting them with that secret corn that I just posted on the video of last Monday okay so check this out okay so two two beads well I had two beads okay first things first we're gonna run the bead down the line to the top of the mooching rig okay just like so then very easily you're gonna slide the spin glow on just like that you guys okay I did drop that bead into the bag right now but since I am video since we're live right now I'm not gonna go ahead and grab it it does not matter you can throw another bead up there if you want to you do not have to you can put two beads down low you can put two up high always put one down low though okay you want one up over the hook so when this thing's spinning in the water it's not just getting worn down by this the eyelid of this hook okay then bite that off okay just gonna throw a swivel on here really quick the knot that I like to use is pretty simple just run the line through about four inches grab it wrap it wrap it wrap it wrap it you can do five or six times put it back through the little hoop like that put it through the big loop that you made okay so let's do that together so through the eye of the line and then back through and then just pull it suck it down tight just like this okay guys pretty easy okay just gonna reposition real quick just like that pull it tight okay clip the excess off okay clip the excess now we have a foot long little leader with a non-slip mooching rig at the end one bead you can put a bead up top again like i said but i did drop it and a spin glow okay guys now okay how do you rig the corn okay so you have the corn okay i'm gonna set it right here put this back down here okay it's nothing crazy you guys this is super easy grab the kernel just like so the bottom of the kernel goes on the hook first Pull it out through the top just like this okay just like this 
Okay, grab one more. Same exact thing. Just like that, you guys, okay? Now, we have our corn rigged up on our spin glow non-slip mooching rig, okay? Just like this. Now, a sh I like personally, like these little six inch Shasta blade flashers. You can definitely use a smaller flasher and color is your preference. Um, I do like to match my spin glows with my flashers. Just like this, you guys, okay? You have a flasher down to a swivel, down to an eight to 12 inch leader, little spin glow, the corn, the bottom of the kernel goes on the hook first, lock it into place, throw it on your line, throw it on a downrigger, throw it on a, uh, a freaking inline weight, get it down to depth. All the kokanee in the spring after they come up, they're no longer deep. They're all from zero to 20 feet. So get out there, you guys, bonk them, comment, like, subscribe, and share, you guys. I love the support. Thank you so much for tuning in to this how-to episode of Walking on Water. I will see you in the next one.